Hi, it's Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and I'm here to talk to you about a little tip that I use that I like to call a vision board. So if you haven't heard me talk about a vision board before, this is what it is. What I like to do if I'm going to trim a dog or I'm trying to get it to show a certain way is I'm going to gather photos of dogs that I think are, represent the ideal for my breed. Hopefully they can be related to my dog so that there is a chance that my dog will look like that or I could make it look like that one day. And literally wherever I groom or practice with my dog, I have like a little book and I like thumbtack the, the photos up so I can take a quick look at them. And it really helps me like figure out my dog's trim, how I want it to look. But even more importantly, it helps me figure out how I want my dog to show, right? So if I have like a great dog and I want it to free bait, I can like keep getting people to take videos of my dog like on my smartphone. And then I can compare it to either the videos that I've seen or the pictures that I have on my vision board. My vision board really, really does help me get things nailed down for my trim, for showing, for the outline that I want to create to the judge. Then the second part of my vision board is also very important. And that's where I take photos of the dog that I am actually working on and I put them up next to the photos of the ideal that are on my vision board. And with those photos of the ideal compared to my dog, I might sometimes take a marker and I might trim like say, oh, I want more hair to grow here or just make a line while well, this hair has to come off so that those two outlines match. And this is a really, really useful tool. It's also useful for young dogs because you can take a picture like every two weeks and just have a progression of how your dog is comparing to the ideal as they grow up. So having a vision board, which can simply just be some pictures you've printed from the internet, maybe ripped out of a magazine, maybe you took them at a dog show, and then comparing them to photos of your own dog can really help you nail down the ideal and how you want your dog to ideally either look when it's groomed or look when it's being shown or both together. Um, so I really want you to give this a try. You can send me any questions you want about it, either online, you know, if you see me at a dog show, you can ask me about it. I'm happy to expand more on this. So if you'd like to keep continuing getting these tips that we have here on YouTube, please like and subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free and it just helps us figure out who's where and how we can help you more. You can leave comments in the comments below so that we can help you out with your specific questions and answers. And as always, I would like you to head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com and just take a look at the premium content we have available there. Uh, we have the winner's circle, which is absolutely everything in our school for one low monthly fee. And coming with that, we have a great forum that we're going to open in mid-2019 where we're going to have the very, very best from all around the world going into that forum weekly and answering your questions. So that's it for now. Talk to you soon. Hi guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like. And if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon. Bye.